although defending national champion Baylor and its players will go into the locker room with their heads down and no. Eight-seeded North Carolina is exhaling in relief from advancing to the Sweet 16, suffice it to say that the real winners from Saturday's second-round overtime thriller are March Madness fans. What was seemingly a blowout, in the form of a 25-point lead with 10 minutes remaining, turned into an instant classic that might end up going down as the most exciting game of this NCAA tournament. Whether it was a controversial ejection, gutsy plays down the stretch or head-scratching officiating, we're here to examine the defining moments of the game. Manic was ejected for elbowing Baylor's Jeremy Sojin in the face, a flagrant two violation, prompting him to head for the locker room with 10.08 left. Play-by-play -play announcer Brian Anderson said, can you imagine if it were a closer game? The Bears didn't just imagine it, they turned it into their reality and Manique's ejection was the match to that flame in the comeback. Basketball's a game of momentum and at that stage of the ejection, Manic had drilled back-to-back three-pointers. The Oklahoma transfer big man finished with 26 points without playing the final 10 minutes. Removing him from the game took away UNC's hottest weapon at that moment and gave Baylor the little bit of life the Bears needed to get back into the game. March Madness, Saturday's live updates from the NCAA tournament get the latest updates, sign up for our sports newsletter now. While Love wasn't much of an offensive factor in this game, in the same way he was versus Marquette with a team-high 23 points, has one of North Carolina's best ball handlers and playmakers that could have helped the Tar Heels keep their composure in a high-pressure situation. Him fouling out with six minutes left played a huge factor in the UNC looking so horribly discombobulated in the pivotal stretches of regulation. 